Food stamp recipients face a ticking clock. Find a job by March 31st or lose most of their benefits. In the latest fiscal year, the U.S. government helped feed an average of 45.8 million people as part of its Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, also known as SNAP. But in 22 states, able-bodied adults without dependents who currently receive an average of about $164 per month will see their benefits cut to three months of food stamps in any three-year period. That is, unless they work at least 80 hours per month or meet certain education and training or volunteer benchmarks. We have to make sure that in the coming years, reform and change actually result in moving people from welfare to work. The rules aren't new. They're part of the same welfare reform passed by President Clinton 20 years ago, but those rules were relaxed during the recession. As the economy has recovered, the nation's unemployment rate dropped to 4.9 percent in December. Many states have restored work requirement rules for food stamp benefits. For example, in North Carolina, 55,000 recipients in about a quarter of the state's counties have gotten word they're in danger of losing their benefits, and the rest of the state's recipients will be affected on July 1st. But as states restore the work requirement rules, the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities estimates that 500,000 to a million people will lose their food stamp benefits this year. In some cases, statewide economic recovery has been slow, and that's putting pressure on some states to provide work or job training opportunities for those in need. Case in point, New Mexico, in which the statewide unemployment rate in December was 6.6 percent, among the highest in the nation. Yet 17,500 people were put on notice that they could lose their food stamp benefits on March 31st. New Mexico could still qualify for a postponement of the federal work requirement rules, but officials there and in several other states, including Mississippi, South Carolina, and Virginia, have opted not to pursue a waiver.